Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can use sections to break a Word document up so that you can have different headers and footers in each section. Now to create a section, you need to go onto the layout tab and then use this breaks feature. So if I drop the arrow down there, you've got different options in this list, but this is the one that I want to use for now. So next page, and then I'm going to do that again, next page. Now, if I reduce the size of my screen, so you can see those three pages side by side, and then get into the header, what you've got there is header section one, header section two, etc., etc. So if I put Steve on that one, at the moment, the default setting is for that to cascade through all pages. However, if I click into this middle section and take off link to previous, I will then be able to change that one to Saxton, for example. And if I do this one, this is linking link to that. If I break that one, I can then change this one as well. So now I've got different headers in these pages. So for a, a larger document, you say Microsoft Office training manual, you could have a section heading Word, Excel, Outlook, etc., etc. The same applies to the page numbering at the bottom there. If I click into this middle section, it's got same as previous and so is the third section. So when I insert page numbers, let's do that. I'll just go for a plain page number at the bottom of the page. It goes one, two, three. Now, if I change this section one, the format for it, not to be a one, go back into page numbers and format page numbers. I can select that to be Roman numerals, for example, that one, and get it to start at I. Okay, so that says I. Now this says two, I don't want this to start at two, I want this to start at one, so I'll need to highlight that. Go into page numbers, format page numbers. This is going to start at one, okay? And then this last section, I want this to be ABC. So if I highlight that one, page numbers, format page numbers, set that to ABC, capital A, capital B, and start at A. OK, so now I've got a Roman numeral I, 1 and A. Now, if I come out of the header and footer, I'll just double click into this center page that comes out of it. So if I, for example, click onto this page and do control enter, that will create me a second page of that section. So I've got two eyes. If I go into this next section, the second section and do control enter, I've got page one If I come down. I'll have page two. If I double click into the last section and do control enter, I get A and B. So they're independent of each other. And another feature that you can do within a section is you can change the orientation to suit whatever you want. So if I change the orientation for section two to landscape, I've got orientation landscape, that will apply just to section two or section one it was for sat, I was sat on section one so that was section one I'll just undo that and do it for section two so the first two pages are section one this is section two so just double click on that just to make sure and then put it to landscape and then if I make my screen a lot smaller you can see how that sits so the two pages in the middle are part of section two they're both set to landscape and the first two pages are a portrait and the last two are portrait within the same document. You can only do that if you use section breaks. Now you've got other options in there. You've got column breaks and next page and continuous. These have all got their uses. But for this little example, I just want to talk about how you create a simple section break and what that will allow you to do in terms of headers and footers and page orientation. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.